Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Here we go. Today, find out how the price of Ethereum has changed and what the technical indicators RSI, Stochastic RSI and MACD show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. Looking at the Ethereum hourly time frame, the price moved quickly to the upside with around 4.0% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 1308. We can see that the buyers are taking over because the volume was also high, showing that this move was strong. Moving to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 61, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Moving to the hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but the percent K line is below the percent D line, which means the current trend is on the downside. Moving to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. But according to the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is going down. Owing to this we can expect the price to remain stable and you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be a downward trend. Jumping to the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 62, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Moving to the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. The K line is currently located below the D line, meaning that there is a downwards trend. Moving to the 3 hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bearish. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.